So we've added a new feature to the admin console called email templates. And what this does is it exposes a subset of the velocity templates that are available in the system. So the, the way the email generation works in Filer is it uses a templating language from Apache called Velocity. It's currently at version 1.5 of the Velocity engine for generating these. So all of these files here are Velocity templates. They're written in the Velocity language, and they're used to construct emails that get sent out. So when an email is sent, so for example, for a if you share an entry, this is the Velocity template that gets sent, that gets generated to, to send that share notification. And in addition, all of the emails that get sent will have a, a footer, a header and a footer, a header above the template and a footer below the template. So if you want to make one change that puts a, a information at the bottom of all emails, you can edit the footer, footer and change that. Uh, there's also a style sheet that, will, that gets applied to all of them, as well as some macros that get applied to all of them, and that's what these last last two are here. So the, uh, if you notice the type says default, and what that means is these files, these templates are currently all the default ones that ship with the system. And it will not let me delete them because those are the default ones and you can't delete the default ones. However, if I want to edit one, all I do is simply click it and it will download it. So I've downloaded the template. And what I'm going to do is bring it up in an editor and just give you a rough view of what's inside of it. So basically, this is the velocity language. And what I've added here is a bunch of commentary that explain how you, how you can make use of it. One thing to note is when we send email out, we actually include both an HTML mind part and a plain text mind part. And you can control that as well. So there, are, in here, you'll notice there's a block. It's, a, it's an if block that if it's HTML, this is what gets generated into the mime. And for the plain text part, this is what goes into the mime, as well as some explanation about what you can do with it. So rather than change that, I've already got, well, I'm going to go back and do one more, show one more thing. So, so typically, when you a request we've had is people want to include an image or a footer with a copyright in their corporate logo or something like that in it. So you may want to include images in it. And the way I've been managing that personally, and I don't know whether it should be considered best practice or not, but it seems like a reasonable way to do it, is I'm going to sign out. And I did a, a user I call it email admin that I've given admin rights to. An email admin has this folder that, uh, if you look by what I've shared, I've shared this, this folder with all of the other system administrators in my system. So within this folder, I uploaded a picture. And this is an image I plan on using in my templates. In order to make use of that, what I did was generated a public link. And then I copied the URL and we'll embed that in my image tag. And I'll show where I've done that in that footer template. And then I will send an email using it. I'm going to hide this window and hide this and hide this. Get to the footer I've modified. Okay. So this is this is a footer now. This is the same file. It's just I've already edited it to save a little time. This is all the commentary I showed before. And then I added some text into it. And I've added an image tag. And I'm kind of playing some games here because I don't have all my DNS names hooked up to where the links would work correctly and they're re receiving email. So I'm pointing it at a different server. But you can ignore that fact. As long as your trees or your servers are all accessible, the images will work correctly. Another thing to note here is that I'm actually localizing, to some extent, the emails that get sent. So the text here is, if this is 
being sent to a user whose, locale, whose language is English, it will include this text. If this gets sent to somebody whose language is French, it will include this text. And for everybody else, it's going to include this text. So I'm going to back out of that. I'm going to go back to my browser. And at this point, I'm going to sign back out and back in as admin, just because I have stuff ready to test there. I'm going to go back into my email templates, email templates. And now this view is uh, HTML5 drag and drop target. So all I, all I have to do is take one of my, take a file, drag it over, and drop it. And what I've done is uploaded my footer.vm change, that velocity template change, to my to my to my template area. And you'll notice now for that footer it says customized. Because I've modified that one. That that file is one that's on the system now that has been modified. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to my files and I'm going to share this file now. And I'm going to share it with uh, several users. One of them is my personal user, and I've got a user in German, and I've got a user in French. And I'm simply going to issue the share. So now this has been shared, and it's been shared with those three users. And if all is right with the world, I'm going to get some emails here. Okay, and there they are. So this is the first email. Notice the typical share notification. And this one is the one that got sent to my German user. Because you can see it's my language is DE other. And I had it set to where I had localized text in English, localized text in French, and everybody else got other. So the German user got other. And there's the image that I added to that footer. So here is the French user again. They got the same image because that text was all the same. The text in the main body is in French, and then it also picked up the French localization from the footer. And then the third email I sent out was one that came into my GroupWise account. Again, my GroupWise user got the same image, and this, since my language is English, it came in in English. And then I can, uh, with these templates, I'm free to change them anytime I want. If I go to override one, so I'm going to go back to my template area. And I close my folder and reopen it. And if I try to overwrite one I've already customized, it's going to come up with a warning and say, OK, uh, that file's already been customized. Are you sure you want to override it? Or you can either cancel it or override it. That lets me edit that file and save the changes again. Or I can go through and delete my customization. It deleted it, and notice now that footer went back to the default. So if I were to resend email, the footer that would be picked up would be the system's default. 